Just say, Rev, really quickly, yeah. too. Democrats need to be mature and they need to be honest. And they need to say, yes, there is, there's misogyny. But it's not just misogyny from white men. Mm -hmm. It's misogyny from Hispanic men. Right. It's misogyny from black men. Things we've all right. been talking about who do not want a woman leading them. Might be race issues with Hispanics. They don't want a black woman as president of the United States. Here's what MSNBC's Joe Scarborough had to say about the election. Still waiting for the day he says something that really makes sense. Let's see if today's the day. You know, the, 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 the Democratic Party, I've always found when you're sitting around talking, they love to just sort of balkanize everybody into these separate groups and say, oh, white people don't like women and uh, black people. No, this is, this is, it is time for the Democrats to say, OK, and you and I have talked about this before. A lot of Hispanic voters have problems with black candidates. Right. A, a lot and of, with other Hispanics. And, You've got some and, exactly. that don't like each other. The most misogynist things I've heard going on in this Get Out the Vote tour came from black men. I mean, misogynist things. So you're yeah. absolutely right. It's not simplistic. And we've right. got to have real honest conversations about it. Real so, honest conversations. Oh Joe Scarborough is saying that Democrats need to be more honest and mature when talking about issues like misogyny and race within their own party. He points out that misogyny isn't just coming from white men, but can also be found among Hispanic and black men, some of whom may resist the idea of a woman, or specifically a black woman, as president. Scarborough suggests that Democrats often divide people into separate groups, focusing on stereotypes about who might or might not support women leaders or candidates from certain backgrounds. He emphasizes that these issues aren't simple, and that Democrats should avoid oversimplifying them. For example, Scarborough mentions that in his experience, some of the most extreme misogynistic views he's heard have come from black men during voter outreach efforts. His point is that prejudice exists across all communities, and Democrats need to have more open and honest conversations about these realities, instead of relying on blanket assumptions. According to Scarborough, a straightforward and honest approach like this could help the Democratic Party address real issues rather than relying on stereotypes. If you enjoy this type of content, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. See you in the next video.